Hi, welcome to One Lisa Show. My name is Lisa, and this episode is all about my June sewing plans. If that's something you're interested in, please stay tuned. So what I'm wearing today is not a me made, but it is something I want to emulate. This is just a simple dress I got from Amazon a couple of years ago. I think it was all of $10. It's a t-shirt dress and I have a fleet of them in my closet. And I've been wearing these as my summer wardrobe for a few years and I want to make stuff just as comfortable as this. I keep seeing wonderful Ellie and Mac patterns that kind of emulate this jersey t-shirt dress. I do have a couple of dress patterns already in my, in my collection of patterns and I would like to make some items for work for summer for me. I have some other things I'm going to make too. So let's start with the easy peasies. The first thing I want to make this June is another bra. This is my favorite bra pattern. It's the Marlboro Bra by Orange Lingerie. And I actually bought myself some fabric quite some time ago and have not made this bra yet. I haven't made a bra in months and I'm well overdue. I see, I see Sherry from Granny Sewing Room with her Shelly bra tutorial and I'm just thinking she's loving her bra making and I have seriously laxed on making another bra. I have I think seven bras right now that I've made and I could definitely use more because the more bras you have the less often you have to wash bras. Just I'd rather wash them all at once. So this is um, it's almost like a light powder blue but without the without the baby blue in it like a light uh, steel blue very light it's gonna be very hard to pick up but this is a satin I got from Minerva I only got I think a half yard because I wanted it to make a bra so it's almost like an ice blue and it's a satin very simple I'm I think it would make a great bra with some uh, bra lining inside it almost has like a a white and off-white to it but it's blue undertones so that is on my list to make and uh, I did post a video I think a Friday sews video where I made the I don't have a picture of it but I think I have a picture of my finished product so I'll put that in here now the Pearl Soho City gym shorts I think I've talked about this a couple of weeks I made a trial run for my nieces and they have it's a free pattern they have children's and women's sizes. I made a free one, uh, the free pattern I made a trial run, excuse me, for my nieces and they fit. And my niece, older niece, who's nine, picked out Def Leopard fabric, which I think I also talked about in the Friday Sews video. It's a simple cotton. Uh, it's actually softer than a quilting cotton but I wouldn't call it a poplin by any means. From Joann's, I have about a half yard of this, two thirds of a yard of it. It's been washed and I'm gonna make her a pair of shorts this month. These girls need clothes, they grow like weeds. I also would like to make the other one another pair of those shorts too, not necessarily in Def Leppard. She'll take whatever I give her, she's very easygoing. And that little one, I call her the Wiz. The Wiz also loves this dress. This is McCall 7111. I believe this is an out of print pattern. It is a children's pattern and it has a dress, different variations. And I basically make version A and um, I kind of cheat. I use bias tape. I've made her a few of these and she absolutely loves it. I don't do the sleeves because she's fine with a tank and it's easier. And then instead they do a button clasp. I'm going to give you a picture of this. They do a button clasp uh, in the back. I The last one I made, I made with a scrap of fabric and I did a plastic color snap. Absolutely fine. This is the fabric she picked out and she absolutely loves. It's 
got a, it's just a very interesting geometric pattern. It has a little bit of a feather look to it or a leaf look, kind of a a tribal or a, a American Indian inspired print, I'd say. But it does have, and I don't think it's gonna, it might pick it up, it might not. It's like a little glittery silver foil leaf in there. It's absolutely gorgeous. I got two yards of this. I'm gonna make her that tank style A-line dress. And then if there's extra, I might make uh, something else, maybe a pair of shorts for her mommy or something. We'll see, we'll see. I kinda want them for myself. I actually had this fabric before and made a bra out of it, and I love that bra. This is such cool fabric, I might get more of it. I just love it. And that is a quilting cabin. I want to make a couple, of, I want. I don't wanna make all of these dresses, I'm trying to decide, but I do wanna make a dress this uh, June. I wanna make one dress, but I have options. I have three different, four different fabric options and three different patterns. So I'm, I'm up for your help. If you can let me know what you think, that would be fabulous. I'm having a really tough time. There's one fabric I definitely want to make a dress out of, but I have yet to be 100% on the pattern, which pattern it is. So let me share my three patterns and then my four fabrics. So please, please help me. Give me your opinion. First up is 8014 Simplicity, but I want to make the version the model is wearing. I have already made this version here and I love it. I did a review video of this pattern, but now I wanna make this one. I think it'd be a great summer dress I could wear for work, as I am today. My choices, any of these fabrics I have, I think would make a great dress, uh, shirt dress pattern, okay? I'm gonna show you the fabric soon. The second one I really want to make. It is Simplicity 9136. If you've made this, let me know. I think this just looks very easy breezy, and I love that they're wearing tennis shoes, so I definitely wanna make what the, the model is wearing. The short sleeve version A. Let me give you the line drawing here. One more simplicity pattern. I don't think every fabric's gonna work for this one. Actually, I don't know if any of them is gonna work for this one, but I do love it and I have not made it yet, but I want to. 8946 is a vintage style pattern. It's a baby doll dress. I don't need the Peter Pan collar, so I'm happy with this version here that doesn't have the Peter Pan collar. I do not want a sleeveless. So I take it with or without the Peter Pan. Let me give you the back line drawings. Um, I do love this. Let me show you the fabrics. I think all of these are either quilting cottons or cotton poplins. This is Bees and Ladybugs, and it looks like a light blue chambray, but it is a quilting cotton. This is the one I really wanna make this month. I love it. It looks simple, and I personally think, I'm thinking this. So if you think this could work for this, please let me know. The other option is the shirt dress. The shirt dress I think would also probably look good, but I can't decide. Then the other one I can't decide on also is my lemon fabric. I've been wanting to use this lemon fabric for over a year and I still have not used it. And I think I've not used it because I just haven't found the absolute perfect pattern for the lemon fabric. This also is a quilting cotton, I believe. It might be one of their premium cottons. And that one I was also thinking about this version as well.
I have two more fabrics. <laughs> if I can swing out multiple dresses this month, I'm happy with that. But I really want to use that blue chambray uh, looking fabric with the bees and the ladybugs because it screams summer to me and it screams like fun day of just doing whatever. Going to an amusement park with my siblings or the grocery store or taking a walk at the park or going to work even. This one I believe is a kind of poplin from Minerva. Very pretty. I have lots of it. This one I did contemplate on this dress. The baby doll. And finally, I have a green gingham. It's, it's a bottle green gingham. I think it's great. I picked this out specifically because I have a pair of sandals that have a green and medium, emerald green and medium green in them. And I thought this would make a great dress that I could wear with those sandals and not waste or have to buy new shoes. So I don't know what I could make. Could I make any of these dresses with this bottle green gingham? So my plans are one of these dresses with one of these fabrics, the tank dress for my niece, the Wiz, and shorts for both my nieces and a bra. Pretty lofty goals. I'm very excited to see how it all turns out. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate you watching this. If you did like it, please give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. I read all the comments. And please give me your opinion. And if you haven't done so already and you'd like to see more how these items turned out, click on that subscribe. And then at the end of the month, I'll share my makes and you can see how everything turned out. I also do the Friday Sews videos quite often. I think I've only missed one since Friday Sews got a, a rolling start. And that's it. Thank you. Have a great day.